Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and I am once again embarking on my weekly run series. This is week 19, and the game is Rogue's Tale by Epics.org. It is an insanely difficult and challenging game. When you play through the first time, you are put in, like, kids mode because of the tutorial. It kind of explains things out for you. I don't know if each time you do it, it's different. I know once you get out of the tutorial, you are in a much more harsh environment. And I say this because I have not managed to even make it through killing two or three things in level one now um, since the tutorial level. So we're going to hope very, very much that we can actually make it through that and actually get some kills and get moving. So let's see here. We're going to create Bumpy as our guy. We're going to go with one strength, two stamina, and one agility. And we're going to roll out. All right, well, there's a horrible rat that wants to eat my soul immediately, and that makes me sad. So we're going to try to engage the rat, and hopefully we kill it and it doesn't murder us. And we did it! We are victorious. That is the first bit of good news I've had in a while. Oh, look, snails are angry and coming at us. Thankfully, snails are not overwhelmingly deadly. I'm not saying they can't hurt us and that they can't kill us, but they're not that deadly. All right, there we go. We have leveled up. And we're going to wait it out. There we go. We are full health again. And we are going to engage a snail number two. And uh, there is a scroll on the ground. We are going to grab that up. Let's take a look at our inventory. We have our dagger, our water flask, and our food rations. So we're not exactly the most stocked or the most loaded up individual. You feel your butt. That's what happens when you rest and you don't need to. You do random silly things. You fart silently. Woo! So yeah, it's a funny game. It's a very, very difficult game. The stacking game, as a stacking in this game, is pretty disturbing or annoying, I should say. Simply because, wow, we didn't do anything. All right, so anytime you have to exert yourself, whether it's move a boulder, break down a door, I think jumping uses that as well. Possibly any skills that you get, you use these little blue ticks up here. And if you run out of them, you can't do whatever action you're trying to do anymore. Like, I've kicked this door four times, it didn't work, I had to rest until I got my blips back. So there's one, two, alright, we finally got through the door, that gave us three experience. Anytime you see torches on the wall, you are going to want to actually utilize them. Because they give experience too, that door was unlocked, I was able to open it, and I could actually make it down to level two, if I so desired. But I do not so de desire yet, or de de desire. Alright, we're going to right click and there's another wall torch, that's one experience. We are nearly to the next level. The downside of this game is you have no idea what any potions or any items do until you actually make it back to town or find some way of identifying them while you're here. What does that mean? That means if I drink this potion it could be a horrible acidic poison and it would melt my face. So I don't want to do that. Acidic poisons that melt my face, not exactly fun. Not something I want to experience, so I'm going to avoid that, like the plague. I see a rock, I could loot that, don't want to. Might be a good idea, but eh. Alright, we broke through the door. There's a snail barring our way. We shall commit snail murder. We are good at animal murder. You know this from my... Oh, I already forgot what game... Uh, don't Starve Let's Play, where I committed a lot of rabbit murder. That was what I did. Alright, the... Oh, no! The training dummy right there, and I'll explain that what that sound was in a minute. The training dummy, when you actually have a talent, you can right-click on it, and it will teach you a warrior-like training item thingy majiggler. But, we just triggered a trip right wire, so now any enemies in the general vicinity are going to come to murder our souls because they know we're here. But, it doesn't seem to have affected much of anything. Archers are exceptionally dangerous in this game until you have a decent amount of armor which we do not have. We are no longer satiated with food or water, so we are not able to rest and heal. I'm going to wait on utilizing that. I hear moaning. Well, thankfully, it's just these. Oh, there's a spike pit over there. I guess I get to see that, which is always good. And yay! This is a successful run so far to me, guys. That's sad, I know. Alright, well we got a little bit of armor now, and that's a wonderful. Oh, it, there is a possibility that the armor is cursed. We, we always hope that it's not, and eventually later you can get an ability called, uh, I believe it's Sixth, sixth Sense. Oh, it's hard to say today for some reason. And when you get that, 
Sorry, every time I see the different things that pop up down there when I accidentally hit the rest key, that cracks me up a little bit. Uh, when you get when you go to pick up an item or equip it that's cursed, it does an evil laugh. And generally it's not a good thing. In fact, I just want to look. Sometimes you can tell if something's changed. Well, it doesn't appear that it has. Alright, well we are going to continue looting this stuff. Hoping that it's not cursed. Alright, and one of the cool things I really, really like about this game that I wish other games like Dungeons of Dreadmore and things of that nature actually did was you actually see your character equipping the items that you pick up. And to me that is really, really cool. That is one of my favorite things about this game. The fact that it's a roguelike is a pretty big uh, thing as well, I'm not going to lie. Um, well, I guess we'll we'll do that. We have up here, you see, we have a talent point that we can use. I am not going to go dual wielding. I am going to go with this, but this is going to help us right away because we don't have a medium or a large weapon just yet. We could get shield bash. Hmm. For D3 turns, this attack cannot be blocked, dodged, or parried and causes the creature's deflect modifier to equal the block modifier. Hmm. That might be good too. Actually, you know what? We're going to go with that because we don't have another weapon yet and there's no telling what we're going to get in in the way of weapons. So we're going to set that up and you open your uh, any physical combat skills like from the dummy there you hit X and that opens up your ex exertion menu. And then there you can hotkey it from 1 to 6, and then they stay on the left left hand side so you can see what it is. You do the same thing with spells, except you use C, which is your casting ability. And now we are... oh gosh, that hurt. Apparently, we need to... sorry, we need to eat, and we need to drink. You see these meters down here that don't tell you how much, like, in five moves or something that's going to be gone, but they need to be in the satiated state in order for you to actually heal yourself up. So there we go, we have healed ourselves up, and we are going to go down to level 2. Oh, and that's a terrifying thing. This is what killed me in one of my moves, but I had nothing before. I'll see if I'm a little bit healthier now. Oh, that was much easier. Thank goodness. Alright, so we're going to grab that, and we're going to close this. You always want to take this game slow. You do not want to rush anything, because bad Juju Magumbo will happen, and it is unpleasant. I can assure you of that. I can attest to it. It is very unpleasant. The door opened. And that creaking sound reminds me of one of my favorite games uh, of old. Alright, now let's take a look down here. We'll see if anything changes when we put this on. Doesn't appear that anything changed. That's okay. Oh, I kicked the door down. I don't know if that was a good idea or not must be locked so we're going to attempt to break into it but not just yet the snail seems to not want to play with us oh no our dagger is damaged we were beating him to death but he was um I don't know he was a tough snail all right if we get another point we can train there which is pretty excellent do that and it looks like maybe we just got to upgrade actually I think we already have studded don't we we do but we don't know which one is going to be better our dagger is damaged it does less now that's never pleasant we have a throwing knife but I don't really want to utilize that so we're going to continue to bash the chest oh and a poison dart hit us fantastic going to continue to kick it, but we can't do that right now. I'm going to keep kicking it. Eventually, we will get through, guys. I can assure you of that. Actually, I have no idea. I imagine at some point maybe we break our foot off. There we go. It has it has worked. We have done it. A worn leather cap. Again, not the greatest of treasure because we already have a leather cap. Now that, that looks exciting. Alright, so let's compare. It's got a 2 and a 4 and a 6. This is a 1, a 4, and a 6. We definitely want the other one. And I'm actually going to leave this one behind. So there we go. 
Okay. And just like that, guys, your run can end. Apparently, there was a hidden magic trap that hit us for 10 of our health, and that means that we died. Why, hello there. I'm Death, and I've been expecting you. You could have come earlier. But don't worry. There's plenty of heat down here to keep you all soup hot. Well, that's unfortunate. So there you go, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to do a couple attempts at this game so you guys don't have to fret too, too much. He died of damage caused by a magic trap. He managed to hoard a total of 13 gold coins during those 548 turns his adventure lasted. There's your score, your abilities, equipment, everything. We had a cursed shield equipped. Well, that's never fun. And we had a scroll of amnesia, a diluted potion of death, which means it was poison and probably going to kill us, and we learned that. So there we go. Let's hop in and we will journey onward and we're going to keep our same character everything exactly identical and we're going to hop right back into it and hope that things go a little bit better for us this time oh gosh and no no it didn't see this is what i'm talking about you can die almost instantaneously in this game so we'll hop back in yet again and you'll see there was really nothing i could do there as soon as the rat showed up i switched to him because he's the main threat but even still, down I went. This door is very resilient to foot damage. There we go. We've done it. We have triggered a trap and hurt ourselves tremendously. Fantastic. Alright, but we're healthy again. Oh, no, this place looks different. It looks like we have to kick the door in again. Oh, and there's a rat. Fantastic. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get... Lucky? We did it! We're heroes. We're gonna go with stamina. We want more health. Oh, please don't be mad at me, Mr. Snail. Okay. No, Snail, no. Yes, Snail, die. Alright, we're gonna continue to rest until we are fully healed. Oh, gosh, another snail is coming. There, we have done it. If we can murder this snail go we are in like a storage room this is excellent looking it might be terrible there might be traps all around and i may end up dying but hoping that that doesn't happen this could be possibly the greatest start in the history of mankind i'm gonna leave those there for now what is this this is a bolt i don't care we have worn studded leather armor we will take it and a target shield we'll take that as well we're going to equip these items there we go, and get rid of that. Bash, we'll bash on the chest. Come on, chest. There we go. Hey, we're level three. We have a new talent available to us. And a ring. Again, we don't know. Could be cursed. It's one of those things. Um... I noticed no change down below, so it could do nothing, and there are items that do absolutely nothing, or it could have done something that, I don't know, I don't know what it could have done. I don't know, I don't know, go away. Hey, what's here? Ooh, we got a mace, an amulet, a tome, all sorts of good stuff. And arrows, and I will pick up arrows, because I would equip a bow if that were a possibility for me. We're going to equip this, which is possibly terrible. No, ooh. We learned how to cast clone creature. So this is a d6 minus 1 versus a d3 plus 1. That's a medium weapon. We're going to switch over to that. And we're going to hit W to switch between our our two weapon things. We're going to equip the arrows there just to clear up inventory space. And we have two potions. I am not bold enough to attempt them. Alright, now I believe we hit C and we scroll our mouse through. There we go. Clone creature. Creates a clone of target creature that aids the caster for a while. Alright, so we will put that as a number one skill. And that was brought to us by our necklace actually or amulet or medallion or whatever you want to call it I've never been in a place like this before this is pretty cool oh snap what is this 
That's a damaged digger, but wow, that looks awesome. It's a large weapon, though, so no shield. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. We got some unidentified cheese, ironically enough. No, I don't want any sticks. Well, whatever that was seemed a little bit scary. We'll take the water flask. And we'll trigger the torch. I think at this point, guys, I would like to get some food and water into me. I'm pretty sure I did that. There we go. And hopefully... Oh my. I bet that guy's like level 80 or something. I bet he's just gonna like own us entirely in one shot. Nope. Hopefully he doesn't cast like Oh gosh, he does. He does cast spells. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, there you go. See, look at that. Oh look, you have gained a friend. You can order friends to follow you. Move to the location or attack a target using the focus key. And that's part of the tutorial that's still going. Uh oh, my friend is lost. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Alright, we're going to attempt to jump over. That didn't work. Alright. We went back up to the town. I didn't know I could do that. Surprise! Oh, that was terrible. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're not dead yet. That's one thing that's good. There is a downside. We don't have any money to identify anything else. That could be an issue. It could be a problem. In fact, it kind of is. Um, because we need money to identify things. About 20 gold per item. Which causes us a small problem in the fact that we have absolutely no gold at this point. The only way to get gold, I believe, is going to be to sell some stuff. Hmm. The only things that we can actually sell without identifying it, ironically enough, is the arrows. Which is not going to sell enough for us to... Well, maybe we can sell the dagger. There we go, we have six gold coins. Sell some arrows, we have 14. 24, alright. Well, what we're going to do is hope... Not repair... We're going to hope that we can identify that, and that that sells for a tremendous amount of, of it doesn't, it sells for 40. Alright, um, well, Pooh, um, let's see, can I identify a few more items? It's a water flask, oh, well, there's only one water remaining. I imagine that's part of uh, the whole situation, and yeah. Alright. Well, we can rest at the inn. It's 50 gold. Oof. Or we can re-enter. Well, I gotta say, I'm not... I'm... I don't foresee me being able to win this. Oh, he just leveled up by doing something. Well, I think there's a pretty good possibility that we are going to, yeah, that we are going to die. But at least we got through that, guys. We'll go one more time. <laughs> it's a really, really, really difficult game, guys. Really difficult. But it's still a lot of, oh my sweet merciful lord, why would you start me? Oh. Hmm. Huh. Are they going to murder me, or are they happy people? I like happy people. If I left click, are they going to... Uh, right click? Huh, okay. You see a bored archer who, archer who looks like a bodyguard. Who are you? I'm called Fawn, and you are? I'm Bumpy. Alright. So, what is it that you do? 
I'm here to protect my master, Nathan. Tell me more about this, Nathan. Can't do that. Please go away now. Dude, no, don't say that. I will, however, help myself to this gold that just happens to be laying here on the ground. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. Um, you see a stern man who looks like an adventurer. Who are you? I am called Nathan, and you are? I'm Bumpy. Well met, Bumpy. So what is it that you do? I'm a merchant, and I trade and identify items here. Oh, let's see your wares. Well, that's pretty cool. Wow, he's got some sick stuff. I wish I had a lot of money. But I don't. Very cool. She's like moving around. That's creepy. Board Archer who looks like a bodyguard. Ah, I'm called Wesley. I'm Bumpy. I can't do it. Go away. Alright. Let's leave. I imagine it's all going to be the same. Okay. Nope. Oop. I guess I will pick up 12 bolts. That's going to be vendor fodder eventually. Alright, so they are all moving around. And what is it's a sign? Almost certain death awaits down there. Well. Well, this is interesting. I'll see you guys. You've seen me already go through with three or four different games. And uh, it's different. Oops. Identify items for 20 gold. Grab this. And, well, I suppose at this point, let me just roll out and head down. It's a terrifying thing, but maybe we'll be lucky and not get murdered by something horrible right up. <gasps> that might be a game-changing item right there, guys. Really? Chainmail? This early on? I'm excited. I'm less excited right now. How long does that last? Oh boy. And... Yeah. Dead. So incredibly sad, guys. So incredibly sad. Alright, we're gonna... <laughs> Here lies Bumpy, a man of zero talent. Yeah. So, I think what we're going to do is, I'm going to break off the episode here, it's probably going to be a little bit shorter than normal, but I'm going to do another episode full of me failing at this game. Who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and actually manage a successful long run. It's a possibility, at this moment it doesn't seem like it, I assure you, but either way, we're going to break off the episode here guys, and we are going to attempt it one final time, well, another 30 minutes of me winning, losing, or dying, I suppose. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>